I heard the voice say, the great day will be on the first 26. Then my sister in the dream repeated it. She said, the day, the great day will be on the first 26. And then I repeated it and I said, oh, the great day will be on the first 26. I was referring to the now in connection with the cancer constellation. I was talking about the yod he va he I shared this image. Yod he yod he va he hand behold nail behold now is something that you pin to. Okay, we pinned ourselves to our glorified bodies, to our eternal heavenly homes not made of human hands. Okay, I'm gonna step deeper into the mystery of this. So when I referred to the nail, I was referring to the yod he va he. We are pinned to our eternal heavenly homes, all right? With the crab constellation. Cancer, I shared this image with you, okay? Where we get the image of the half moon, which is symbolic of the door opening up. The Cancer constellation is connected to heaven. You have the symbolism of the land of milk and honey with the beehive constellation. The claw of the crab, is also termed, as you look deeper into it, the nail. Yod he va he. That's what I was referring to. And I saw a comet in this constellation this morning where we get the presentation of a separation of the believers and non believers. Of every one of God's approved true seventh month moons, you'll see the moon in the constellation of Cancer, which is. The actual, the old time picture was the sheepfold, but it also represents a, a crab because it has those big claws and he can grab and nobody can snatch him out of your hand. Uranus, right, in the constellation of Taurus, near Pleiades, Uranus is tied with heaven. We've got the half moon in Cancer, which is tied with heaven, with the beehive cluster in the middle, the land of milk and honey. Many of us have flipped to the heavenly man, Adam, waiting to return into the land of the living in expansions of ourselves in our eternal heavenly home, not made of human hands. Shemini Atzeret has the gematria value of 1170. So 117, in God's word, he defined it by the first time he used it in Genesis, he said, let it divide. And the gematria is 117. And then we've taught on this many times, but the exact middle of the Bible is Psalm 117, let it divide. So God said, let it divide. So Shemini Atzeret is let it divide magnified times 10. So it's 1170, but it still carries that meaning with more emphasis. So God says at Shemini Atzeret, let it divide. So that'll be the 22nd day of the seventh month, which equates to about October 25th, 26. We also get the comment, right? Uh, Bila, where we get the presentation of a separation, the separation of the believers and non-believers, those who are ready. Tomorrow is also the last day, the great eighth day of tabernacles. These are the tabernacles, the tents. In the dream, um, I very clearly remember that it was only believers that were in tents. So we have the last great day in 2024 will be on October 24th but whether it's the October 24th October 25th or October 26th this is a very important sign that may be pointing to the end of the Feast of Tabernacles so October 26th the great eighth day from Israel's rebirth 888 months plus 888 days which brought us to the first day of an eight-day feast so we add eight more days, the great eighth day of tabernacles, anywhere from October 24th through October 26th. I heard the voice say, the great day will be on the first 26th. Then my sister in the dream repeated it. She said, the day, the great day will be on the first 26th. And then I repeated, I said, I said oh, the great day will be on the first 26th. And like, then we got really excited. 
we got really excited after that and then the dream i woke up after that i mean it woke me up this strong because i felt like my soul was going to leave the body it was another rapture dream but it was confusion about the date of a celebration and the two dates of confusion was the 24th and the 26th. But in this dream, she kept saying, she was telling me that her mother's party was coming. She said, my mother's party is coming. It was almost like she was inviting me. And I said, well, when is it? She said, it's the 24th. She said, it's the 24th. And she repeated it a couple times. She was like, no, is it the 24th? And she just kind of like stood there and pondered. She wasn't sure if she had the day right. So after pondering for a couple seconds, maybe 10, 15 seconds, she finally blurted out and she said, no, it's the 26th. It's the 26th for sure. It's the 26th. And I woke up after that. But what really stood out to me again was I was, this is the first time in over a year, guys, because that was 2020, that I received that dream, that the Lord has even given me a dream referencing 26 again. So I prayed about it. I knew he wanted me to share it again. I don't know. I don't have a, I don't have a month. I don't have a year. Um, all I have is the 26. The last day of tabernacles or the eighth day will be October 26 and not the 24th. But if they are celebrating Yom Kippur on the 12th, then for them, the eighth day would be the 24th. And I think this is what the confusion was about um, in this dream. I heard the voice say, the great day will be on the first 26. Then my sister in the dream repeated it. She said, the day, the great day will be on the first 26. And then I repeated it. I said, I said oh, the great day will be on the first 26. And like, then we got really excited. We got really excited after that. And then the dream, I woke up after that. I mean, it woke me up this strong because I felt like my soul was going to leave the body. There was confusion about whether or not this celebration was going to be on the 24th or the 26th. And she said, nope, 26th. And then she reaffirmed it. He told me first of 26th. So the rapture could happen anytime before that or very close to that. From the rebirth of Israel, May 14th, 1948. If you add 888 months and 888 days, it brings us to October 18th, 2024. Now, if this is the first day between October 17th and October 18th, the first day of an eight-day feast, then here we have a sign of eight that brings us to the, to the first day of the Feast of Tabernacles. And then if we go eight more days... 896 days is 888 days plus eight more days. It comes to October 26th. What was ironic about this dream was that we were outside and we were in tents, right? So I'm praying to God about this. You know, what is it? Is it anything to this tabernacle? And then all of a sudden I'm, I'm having a dream about believers being in a tent. And what really stood out to me, guys, was that we were in tents, a bunch of believers. And I'm not sure if you guys have heard of Dana, Pastor Dana Coverston and his dreams that he has been sharing. Basically, we were in tents and Dana Coverston is literally holding a mic and all through the dream, he's just retelling his dream, just constantly retelling his September dream. And then I kept seeing the number 26, 26. I have no idea what this number means. I kept hearing go Gorgarian calendar, Gorgarian. I hope I'm saying that right, but that's what I kept hearing. And I got up and I looked that up. Obviously, I was trying to look it up with the number 26 and 26 literally mean love feast. So what I believe is, especially after receiving this dream from the Holy Spirit yesterday, I really truly believe that Jesus is coming back, Feast of Tabernacles. I heard in a male audible voice, I heard 26 Gregorian, 26, and I heard 26 very loudly coming close to my ear, and then I would hear Gregorian as it was fading out. And then I saw 26. This was when I first started learning about the Strong's Concordance numbers and the Lord talking through these numbers. and. Um, I looked up what 1234 meant. It means to break open or through, like to burst through the sky. Um, 
Anyway, all the numbers on it was like rapture numbers, a collection of men, harpazo, 73 means gathering, all these numbers that meant that. This is called the baptism of the Lord. And you see the depiction of the Holy Spirit, the dove, and the water, etc. If you have a look at this Agent of Days depiction of wisdom, the father, you'll see there's crab claws pointing to cancer. There's also another mosaic where you see this Agent One, okay, just a depiction of a wise one, Agent One, with crab claws. This is from the Mayans. It's a crab claw, right? I found that really fascinating. Sorry, can you see that? There you go. Trying to get the contrast right. Right? This scorpion and the claw of the crab. You'll see a lot of the crab symbolism with the Mayans. Talking about the end. Hence, Father is shouting at us about the cancer constellation and with the illuminaries that we've had, all the harpagers, the signs of the ha um, harvest, the wedding, the ring. Okay. I saw an image in my mind's eye, the same image of the Lord Jesus Christ, the depiction of Christ amongst the candlesticks, where the capstone by the angel of the Lord remove, is removed and the light pours down. The new heaven and earth, which ushers you over, bridges you, translates you into a wonderful new reality. This is what I saw, except I did not see this woman. I did not see the lion. What I saw was... Uh, the little crab. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, this is just what I saw. Um, and I believe the crab is like cancer or something. But um, I was uh, walking in the backyard and all of a sudden all what we see here, I know that there was things up there, but the main thing that God had me to remember I was seeing was cancer, the little crab, whatever that means, guys. So I was walking, I look up and I see this. You could just see um, the sky changing. And I started seeing people rise. So we didn't like shoot all the way up into the air. I saw people rise and I started to rise up. And when I started to rise up, we were like at the sky, but we didn't like leave the earth yet. I could see down. I looked down and I saw people standing around. And then out of nowhere, um, the sky opened up. The sky completely opened up. Um, and I guess that was like heaven opening up because we were getting ready to leave the earth I did not see us leave the earth The only thing that I remember the last thing was that we were in the sky looking at each other And then I saw the sky open up like some type of vortex It was like a circle it opened up really really big and brilliant light guys The light that we see cannot compare to the light that I saw coming out of the sky opening up And then I woke up May the capstone by the angel of the Lord remove is removed and the light pours down i looked at the crab i don't know how long i looked at the crab or if i saw the how many times after i saw the crab i can't give you a count but i was focused on this crab and then this vortex opened up and again there was this brilliant light it was a bright light a time coming where the capstone by the angel of the lord remove is removed and the light pours down I, I looked up what 1234 meant it means to break open or through like to burst through the sky remember months ago i walked to the shop and i saw a seagull with a crab in its mouth it's like father was saying to me pay attention to the cancer constellation whereby we get the half moon tomorrow do my research yesterday uh, last night and this morning well i've just been researching <laughs> In Notre Dame, we get the crab or lobster, right? Very powerful image, this, in the Codex of um, Notre Dame, okay? Where we get the image of a flip and a portal. Our sister, Chris, um, this is Jesus is the way. Jesus is the only way. This is Crystal. Uh, the cancer dream she received in 2021, it says, I was helping my friend Ruth. Get her wedding invitations ready. I told her I can't stay. I have a 430 cancer appointment. And she said, yeah, yeah, so do I. But first, we have to finish these wedding invitations. And so we can see here the reference to cancer and then also the reference to wedding invitations and then Ruth. And so I thought this was super, super interesting. I wanted to share it. Uh, then her 26th dream. It says, it was as if I was at my old job 
I used to work in the financial industry stocks. I was in this room pointing up to the screen saying, see, see, these stocks are about to fall. They're about to crash. And it was like, no one believed me. Then I walked into the boardroom to prepare lunch for everyone. And suddenly 26 cupcakes fall from the ceiling onto the table. I knew there were 26 of them in my dream. 26 equals love feast. And also in Dramatria, the value is Yahweh. I also had other dreams that point to number eight, like several. Uh, one that would make you smile was when my boss in the dream gave me an $8.24 raise. Yes, come on, sis. It was for a one day special event that we were working on. So eighth day, of course, October means eight as well. Resurrection, begin again, new life. Um, another best friend of mine had a specific dream about being transformed prior to Halloween, which has got us all excited. Of course, looking up, many have had um, Halloween in their rapture dreams. Return from your sin, for all this society is about to come under the justice of God.